so after way too much time sitting in traffic i finally arrived so if you guys remember a few weeks back i'm gonna try to find it and put a clip in i come to a campground that i'd found around memorial day and i came after that because it was so busy and i did some fishing right in this very spot now if you guys watched that video I stood about right here, I believe, and was casting. And water was halfway up that sign. If that does any kind of justice or not. But this water is low. We have not had much rain at all here in the last couple weeks. It rained a little bit today, but hardly enough to do anything at all. And then it's supposed to rain some tonight and tomorrow. Like this is craziness. I mean, like it was up to there. So, I have a new boat I wanna try out. I'm trying to figure out somewhere here to put it in and See how it does. Alright, so what we have here is a very old canoe. But it's in good shape and it came off marketplace and it was only 165 bucks. Well, they wanted 200, but I talked them down a little bit. It's about 15 foot long. It came with paddles, even though they don't match and one's cracked still. Kind of curious to see if a kayak paddle was going to work or not. So for those of you who know better, you're probably going to laugh at me in a minute. But we're going to attempt to go out here and float around and see what happens. They said no leaks. It's like that flexible plastic. Oh, let's go find out. Okay, so definitely floating out in the lake. It's a little bouncier than I thought it'd be. And I thought the kayak paddle or whatever you want to call it would be better. I don't think it is. It's too short. If it was like 10 foot long, maybe. I'm going to have to stick with the one-handed deals. And it's just raining right on me. And there's a pretty good chance of rain for the next few hours. So I'm probably just going to sit in here and get soaked and take on a bunch of water and sink. There's people swimming right there. I really don't want to run my boat into the forehead. So I should probably turn around. I don't think they'll like that too much. Literally lightning. I was hoping to get some on camera, but it's not going to do it now. In a very low lake, and there's still people everywhere. So, turn this boat around. I'm pretty sure there's a kid drowning behind me. Just ignore that. All right, so that went pretty well. I didn't fall out or anything. Pretty surprising for me. So I'll get you guys adjust where you can see me here. Um, luckily the campground is like just right up the road from the lake. There's one site here that has a pavilion and a picnic table. So that's gonna be kind of nice. Stay in here, stay nice and dry. Trash can with fire pits just right there. Oh, pretty nice i mean other than the rain but we don't care we're still camping all right let's get uh, a little campsite going here huh
Okay, so now that I got a fire going, I'm going to try a new snack. You guys caught last week's video. I tried the Cajun Cheddar Cheetos Mac and Cheese. Well, apparently now they have a chip. Like, if there's like a flavor of something, you know it's everywhere. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there was Cajun Cheddar Mountain Dew. I like these are probably going to be all right. Nice and orange, just like they always are. Definitely a lot of seasoning on there. They definitely seem more flavorful than the mac and cheese version. Nine servings in the whole bag. 150 calories. I wouldn't say they're super healthy. They don't taste bad. I know they say flaming hot, but they definitely have a lot more of a kick than the mac and cheese. I'm yet to have a flaming hot Cheeto that I don't like. These are up there, probably like top two or three. I still think the original Cheetos Flamin' Hot are my favorite. And then the Jalapeno Cheddar, I think they're called. We wouldn't be far behind them. Pretty tasty. So I got a few more pieces of firewood on there, and it's burning pretty good, so might as well have a camp soda. Pretty sure this is the last of the new monsters, I think, that I've seen. I don't know, there might be more, but it's all I found. I don't love green tea, but I don't know, figure give it a shot. It's gonna be too awful, I don't think. Not for me. It definitely tastes like green tea, but it kind of just tastes like green tea and monster mixed together, which yeah, sounds terrible. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever had. I wouldn't get it again. Definitely like the other two better. I think I can't remember what they were now. One was like a lemonade and tea. It was pretty good. And then maybe like a regular, I don't remember. But they were better than that. Yeah, I won't get another one. I'll give it like a five. Maybe. But I'll finish it. It's not that bad. But I'm going to burn that fire down just a touch more. Dinner should go pretty quickly and easily, so it should be done before dark. I think we got about an hour and a half left. Yep. Stay tuned. Dinner's gonna be good. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, it's working. Okay, so as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to attempt to make a garbage plate for the first time. I've actually had a couple of you request this. I've never had it. I think it's like a regional kind of thing, if I'm not mistaken. I try to do a little research, and best I can figure, it started in like Rochester, New York. I could be wrong. I don't know why that's standing out to me so much. But anyway, um, yeah. Apparently there's like a lot of different ways to do it, but it's basically like potatoes on one side, 
some kind of macaroni salad on the other is kind of always the base. I guess sometimes you can use like fried potatoes or french fries or whatever. But it's almost always macaroni salad of some sort. Okay. Then there's bread of some sort. Some people just put sliced bread. Some people do like buns with hot dogs in it. Uh, I think I saw one that was like a hamburger. And then some people don't put a hamburger patty and bun. They just put like hamburger patty or hamburger meat. I guess it can be hamburgers or hot dogs. I don't know. Uh, where I'm located, that's not a menu option. Or just nowhere, ever. So I'm going to try my best to make it somewhat authentic. But I got to give it a little bit of a twist, right? So, oh, and mustard and onion, right? And some kind of chili. Hot, I think one video called it hot sauce, hot something. It just looks like hot dog chili. Anyway. So this is going to be the first variation. I don't know if you guys go to Walmart much, but they've really been stepping their game up recently with random, like, things to eat and try. So that's what I'm going with. I don't like macaroni salad. I just don't. I never have. It's always, like, weird and, like, it's got a weird tanginess to it that I don't care for. So I'm hoping, like, that this tastes better. I don't know. I'm a pretty big fan of pickle. So... I'm at least going to give it a little sample first to see if it's even edible. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be pretty good probably. I don't know. Most things that have pickle in it I like. It should be pretty good. I don't know. If you can see this or not, I'm going to try to show you. There's a lot of pickle in there. So, let's see what this is all about. So just like elbow macaroni and pickle. Probably some mayo. A lot of pickle. I like it. I like pickle, so that's good. If you like pickle a little bit, I might not try it. But if you like pickle a lot, you'll like that. So I'm going to go with that for sure. And I think I need to start chopping up some vegetables. Because I'm going to put some onion on there, some potatoes. Yeah, let's get to chopping. So you guys have seen me chopping onion a thousand times by now. Well, I'd say a good 60, 70 times anyway. But if you're going to keep watching, I'll keep doing it. Some good old uh, canned potatoes. Thank you, Mama Wallace, for these. I'll try to get them out of the jar without smashing them. I'm gonna cut these up a little bit. All right, I wasn't sure what to go with for chili, but I like mine kind of spicy. I don't know if the beans are traditional for a hot plate or not. But Hormel is kind of known for chili. I think it should be all right. I don't recall the last time having this. I'm going to hope it's good. I don't know. So, maybe leave me a comment. Beans or no beans in the chili? All right. Potatoes going in. I think I'm also going with some diced green chili. You guys know I like these. I think they'll taste pretty good in here. All right, we're going in old school style with the beans. We're just going to throw them in just like that. Because I'm not throwing up a pot for that. So, I'm going to go with these. I don't mind a hot dog. I don't love them. they got to be all beef. I just want something different. And if you ever had these, they're not too bad. I actually like these better than the Johnsonville. So, I'm going to get some of these and a skillet. All right, a little simmer on the chili. Color on these guys. Yeah, it'll be done soon. For cheese, I'm going triple pepper cheese blend. I got this the other day and tried it. It was really good. Cheddar cheese, chipotle peppers, Monterey Jack cheese, jalapeno, and habanero peppers. It's not like overly hot, but it has a little kick. I think it's going to be good. So I'm going to stomach with the potatoes and get it all melted. All right, let's try to assemble this disaster. Get our cheesy potatoes. 
on one side. With our dill pickle, macaroni, pasta, um, salad thing. Now, hot dog bun here, like kind of in the middle. Jalapeno cheddar dog. All right, time for some chili. This thing is going to be a complete disaster. I think the chili kind of goes all over everything, right? Maybe. I don't know. That's what I'm going to do. Try that. I also found this at Walmart. Limited edition Hickory Smokehouse Blend. Smoked Gouda cheese, provolone cheese, and natural smoke flavor. I don't know if it's going to be good on there, but it sounded interesting. Can't really have too much cheese, right? Try that. Oh, that's probably too much right there. Got some chopped onion now. I always see mustard on them, so I'm going to go down with some of that too. And I gotta have some white pepper for sure. I think I black pepper like 99% of my food. Like seeing this thing in person now, garbage plate makes sense. Wow, well, what a disaster. This was a terrible idea. This plate and my gut are not gonna get along today. I'm pretty sure. I can't even tell what all is in that. Mustard, chili, macaroni salad. It's alright so far. Try the potato side. I like the potato side better. There is a lot going on with this dish. The cold mac salad and the warm chili is a little odd. Yeah, I could take that part or leave it. But somehow I'm gonna try to get chili Macaroni salad, a potato, mustard, onion, all in one bite. All right, I had to sit it down for a second because I almost forgot I have any hot sauce to try. Some of these Lola's are not too bad. Plus these are a dollar at Walmart. I just, every time I go, I find like two or three more I wanna buy. This is Trinidad Scorpion. I've had some pretty good scorpion hot sauces before, so I got a good feeling this might be all right. I don't know that's gonna be good on that, but we're gonna find out. Yep, I like that one. That's tasty. Scorpion just tastes so much better than like habanero to me. It's got like a really good like black pepper flavor. Cayenne, not heavy on the vinegar. Yep, it's gonna be good on there. We're gonna try it. Okay, Let's see what it tastes like on the plate now. I've not even made it to that jalapeno cheddar sausage thing. I'm just gonna try to put some on both sides here. I think it's gonna be better. Oh, that's a lot better on the potato side than anything. But, let's find out. Just from that little sample, I got a little tingle on the tongue and lips, so. It's got a little something to it. Definitely helped out the macaroni side. Definitely needed that little kick. 
it's going to be good on potatoes for sure. Yep. Good on the chili, good on the potatoes. So I finally made it down to a bite of the bun and jalapeno cheddar sausage. Definitely good. Finally, last bite. That was way too much for one person to eat. I can't imagine that is like a normal meal for anyone. <sighs> that was truly a workout. I'm sweating a little bit. So, unless you're like really hungry, like haven't eaten all day kind of thing, I wouldn't recommend making one that big. And it didn't even seem that, that was like a little paper plate. Like the ones I see on like Facebook reels and all that, they're huge. Like surely there's not people sitting down eating all that at once, right? I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. That is right up my alley. You guys have seen some of my burritos and sandwiches and breakfast and they're always a hot mess. But while I was cooking that one, I was thinking like there could be so many variations of that. Yeah, I'll be doing that again. I'm going to do a breakfast one for sure. Because that would be really good. Way too much food. You don't need that for breakfast. But you know me. I'm going to do it anyway. But yeah, I definitely want to try one with like some burger on there maybe. That'd be good. I went a little heavy on the mustard. I know that now. Uh, maybe a different kind of macaroni salad. I don't know. Maybe something entirely different. Maybe not macaroni salad at all. But if you guys have any uh, recipes, definitely let me know. So I'll be trying that again sometime in the future. But for now, I don't. I got to go over here and sit around that fire and try to breathe and live somehow. I don't know how I can do that. Um, I, I feel like this is what a bear feels like before it hibernates. I don't know. I can go for a nap, but I'm not doing it. That fire's nice. I'm gonna enjoy it. Well, update on my health status. It's been like two hours. I'm still completely full. This light's probably way too bright. I can't adjust it. That's maybe better. Anyway, the fire feels nice and all. Super nice calm night out. It's not raining, but it's probably gonna be bedtime pretty soon. Sure as I ate way too much, mostly. So yeah, that dish is probably not for the faint of heart. All right, I'm gonna let that burn down. I'm going to sleep. Pretty warm. I think we're gonna need that tonight. Okay, see you guys in the morning. All right, so nothing too fancy for breakfast, but I did see these in, I think it was Dollar General the other day. Sausage, egg, and cheese sticks. I'm not super hopeful on these. I've never had a Tombstone product that I loved, so I don't know. Well, we'll give them a shot. All right, so while we let those cook, a new coffee to try well it's not a new coffee you guys have seen it before i've actually had it on the channel but it's 75 percent less sugar there's a lot of these iced coffees that i try are way too sweet for me so i'm hoping this might be the ticket i don't know it doesn't make any sense but still has a really sweet taste to me zero added sugar it's 
still. Fairly sweet tasting. I don't know, it's not terrible. It's not my favorite. I don't know that I'd get it again. I'd give it like a, I don't know, four eight maybe. Just has that kind of artificially sweet and kind of odd taste I don't care for. Yeah. Anyway, let's go check on breakfast. It's probably burnt by now, I'm sure. All right, got a little collar on them like I like them, but that one got a little mushy. Mm, oh well, so edible. All right, let's see what we're done with here. Definitely entirely too hot to eat, for sure. You can definitely see little bits of sausage in there. It's not awful. It's not great. Then we gotta try a little bit of our Trinidad Scorpion Lola's on there. They're gonna be pretty good. Definitely tasty. Okay, so that's breakfast. These are definitely not very filling, so definitely get you a couple as well. But they're not bad. They went from like just cold to cooked. Maybe if they were like frozen and then you like microwaved, I don't know. They're just a little mushy and kind of came apart. But, decent flavor. Um, I don't know that I'd get them again. I mean, I can make a way better breakfast, but... You guys know I like to take you guys along and try new things, so... I figured I'd let you guys know what I thought about them. Um, overall, I'd say a pretty successful trip. I mean, other than the screaming creatures. When we got here, it was raining. So they weren't really out and screaming, you know? But anyway, still been a good trip. Good hot sauce, decent breakfast. That uh, green tea, like I said, is okay. Not my favorite. Garbage plate was pretty good. It actually did not just cause a full blown disaster inside of me like I thought it would. So that's a plus. Anyway, enough rambling for one video. I am going to clean up the rest of my mess and get out of here. And uh, try to beat the rain because it's supposed to start again pretty soon. But tune back in next week. We'll do it again for sure. Think about hitting that subscribe button for me if you wouldn't mind. I guess that helps me out. Let you guys know when I upload. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Tell your friends. Whatever you feel like doing. Definitely all helps me out. I uh, definitely like responding to you guys. So. Let me know what you guys think. I know a couple of you are going to have a, an opinion on the garbage plate. Because I know everybody has their own version of it, I'm sure. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Tune in next week. Thanks for watching.